Welcome to LearningEngineer.com. My name is Michael Langdon, and here at LearningEngineer.com we engineer learning for efficiency. Um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, punctuation by function, and we're going to go over lists today. Uh, as many of you know, I teach an introduction to college writing course, and I used to be an editor for a student newspaper that I started myself. So I've done a lot of editing. And one of the things that I always struggle with is teaching students grammar and usage and, of course, punctuation. And, you know, you can go to places like engvid.com and they will go over the rules of commas and they will go over all these rules. The reality, though, is that uh, yeah, nobody really remembers that. And so what I like to do is I like to teach punctuation by the function that it serves. And so in this case, we're going to look at what punctuation you'll need to make a list or if you want to do lists. And so there's a couple of options here. Um, so why don't I show some examples. So here's an example um, from uh, Atul Gawande's uh, checklist essay um, that appeared in the New Yorker. And this is just the first sentence, so I'm not violating any copyrights. It's fair use. Um, because I'm using it to teach. So here we have, the damage that the human body can survive these days is as awesome as it is horrible. Crushing, burning, bombing, a burst blood vessel in the brain, a ruptured colon, a massive heart attack, rampaging infection. So what we have here is we have a dependent clause, a complete sentence. Okay, the damage that the human body can survive these days is as awesome as it is horrible. That's a complete sentence. You could smack a, a, cent, a period on the end of that, we'd be fine. But we're not. We want to put a list after that. And so you simply put a colon, and then your list items. No transition words, nothing. Just the colon, and then your list items. And you'll also see that very, rare, very often they don't even have an and. It's just a list. Like if you were to do a bullet list, this is much the way you would do it, but in prose. Okay, so here we have a colon, so that's one piece of punctuation we need, and then we need commas to separate our items in our list. Now, if the items in our list have commas in them, then we would use a semicolon to, um, to separate them, uh, thus keeping in line with our two rules of writing, and that is be consistent and avoid confusion. That's, those are the two goals, basically, and all of our rules should meet with those two goals, which is why, for example, if you have commas in your list items, you then put semicolons to avoid confusing the reader. Now, the other uh, punctuation that we can use for lists are dashes. And dashes can be a problematic because uh, in Word you use a double hyphen. There actually is no dash on your keyboard. So you generally have to do double hyphens and what should happen is your word processor should fix them and turn them into dashes. And in Microsoft Word, it will actually do that. You put in a double hyphen, hit space, go on, and then it will turn it into um, dashes. Now, the other type of list that you can do would be like a list in the middle of a sentence. And in this uh, sentence here, tools for reading, writing, and scientific experimentation are there. Bo books and paper, labs and work boxes, and those things necessary for the arts. Paint, music, costumes, room to dance, likewise available. So this is taken from a essay called A Bag of Possibilities and Other Matters of the Mind by Robert Fulgram. He's the guy that wrote um, Everything I Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. And so this is a sentence from that. And as you can see, here we have a list. Books and paper, labs and work boxes, and those things necessary for the arts. So what we have is when we have this list in the middle of our sentence, we wrap it in dashes because there are commas in our list items. So we really can't set it off using commas because that might be, again, confusing to the reader. And we are always trying to avoid confusion. Those, that, and be consistent are the most two important goals of writing, is to do those two things, and generally you'll be safe with everything else. So there's that. So we can use dashes, or we can use colons. Not both, one or the other. 
And then it depends upon what our list items are like, okay? In this case, it's not just a straight list. There's ands in there. And generally, because the list isn't so straight and cut forward like our previous example, like this one, where it's just like a list of items, then we use a dash because a dash is a slightly more informal. You don't necessarily have to have a complete, an independent clause in front of it, okay? And I'll, I'll show you some other examples in just a second. So here's another one from the same essay by Atul Gawande called The Checklist. So typically this involves a penalty of technology. So we do have an, an independent clause there. Uh, this is the subject, involves is the verb. A penalty of technology is the direct object. But then we have a dash, and that's because there's more to this list than just a list. There are some um, conditionals on it. So we have typically this involves a penalty of technology, dash, and now comes our list. A mechanical ventilator and perhaps a tracheotomy tube, tracheostomy tube, if the lungs have failed. So if the lungs have failed kind of changes it from a straight list to this. This is what we need to do if they have failed. An aortic bloom pump, if the heart has given out. A dialysis machine, if the kidneys don't work. So because this list isn't just a straightforward list, then we use a dash. So again, this is what we can do if we want a list. We write our complete sentence, colon or or a dash, not both, one or the other, colon or a dash, and then our list items. If our list items are just individual items with no conditionals, nothing, just item, comma, item, comma, item, comma, item, then we can use a colon. If it's not item, comma, item, if it's item if this or item if that, then that's a little more informal.